Hey, and welcome back to the channel. If you're trying to download image files from our site or a partner site or any site for that matter, and you notice that they're broken up into multiple pieces, that's because sometimes the image files that we're using are huge, like 10, 12, or over 15 gigs in size. This makes it difficult for a lot of users with slower or limited internet connections to grab these files that they need. Because these are broken up, once everything is downloaded, they can be reassembled and joined back into its original form. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of installing a program called 7-Zip. It's a free and open source application that you can use on almost any computer. So I'm gonna show you how to install 7-Zip. We're gonna take a file, we're gonna break it up, we're gonna put it back together, and then we're gonna validate it. And uh, that's what we're gonna do, and we'll take a look at that right now. So we're gonna begin at our desktop like we normally do, and we're gonna open up our browser. I'm using Google Chrome. And I'm going to search for 7-Zip. 7-Zip.org is the official URL for this website. We're going to click on it. And then we have a couple of versions here. We have the full version. And then we also have a beta version, uh, 19 and then 21.03. I'm going to just be using the full version, which is this one right here. We're going to download the 64-bit. It's really small, 1.4 megs. Uh, it'll only take a few seconds to download. There we go. And uh, we can just click on it uh, to install say yes to the prompt and it's just simple if you want to change the directory you can but you can leave it as default click on the install button and it's done and click on close and then we can just uh, minimize the browser and get it out of the way and I'll just check in my start menu just to make sure that it's there okay and here it is 7-zip you can open it up it's a very simple interface it hasn't changed in years and you don't really need it to because it does exactly what you want it to do so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go into my file explorer. I'm going to go into um, my downloads folder. So I've already downloaded pair OS and it's the, we got this image file right here. And what we can do is as an example, let me just show you how to break it up. So it's two and a half gigs in size. And what we can do is we can just right click on it, go to the seven zip and then say add to archive. So we're going to click on this option right here. And what we can do is we can break this up into smaller pieces. So the archive format we're going to select is zip because it's the most common one and easily accessible for most people. And then we can split it into volumes and we can select the size here. So I'm going to choose one gig, but you can either select one that's pre-formatted or you can put in your own. And then once you're done, all you have to do is just click on OK. And then what the program is going to do is it's going to run through the process of compressing and then breaking it up into multiple pieces. So this is about two and a half gigs. We're segmenting it into one gig per piece. So you're going to end up with three files. Two of them are going to be equal one gig. The third one is just going to be the remaining size that's left. So it's going to do that in the background. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip to the end where it's already been broken up for us. Okay, it's going to automatically close when it's complete. And we'll see that happen right now. And it's done. And so we have the ISO file that we started off with, which is the first one here. And then we have three additional files below labeled numbers 001 and then 002 and then 003. So we have the three files here. Now, if you have a file that you wanted to break up, you can now take these three uh, files that we have broken up and then you can upload it to wherever you want, uh, allow people to download it for easier access and uh, speed and everything else that might be an issue. Uh, and you can do whatever you want. And when they reassemble it, they'll get their ISO file that we have right here. So the next step to do right now is to show you how to join it back. So I'm going to take these two files. I'm just going to delete them. I'm going to delete the original ISO file. It's all gone. So we're going to pretend like you just downloaded this, these three files off our website or somebody's website, and you want to join it back in. So the first thing that you need to do is take the first file on the list, number one, double click on it, and you'll see that it has the image file listed here. And that's what it's going to look like when it's complete. So you have the full name, uh, .iso, you know it's the image file, and then you have the size of it. And all you have to do is click on this extract button, point to the folder that you want it to extract to, and then allow it to reassemble. So this only takes a, a few seconds as it does that. And I'll just let it run through here. Okay, it's done. So now I can just close out a 7-zip and I'm gonna go back into my folder and now you can see the ISO file. And it's the exact same size that we started with, so we know that we're good. And that's how you reassemble the ISO file back. Now, what happens if you don't have all three files? So if you have an incomplete download and you're missing a file, I'll show you what happens just so you can recognize it. So I'm gonna take the ISO file, I'm gonna move it out of here and put it in my documents folder. 
And I'm also gonna take the third file and I'll move it in my documents folder as well. So it's out of the way. And when 7-Zip looks for it, we're gonna open it back up. It's gonna try to extract it and we're gonna get an error message. So I'm gonna extract it like I did before and I'm gonna extract it into the same folder. And you can see that it's trying to do it right now. And it's going through the whole process and then we get this error message. It's a data error and it's letting us know there's a problem. And the problem is it can find all the files. It's not being specific, but it is telling you there is a problem. So let's close out a 7-Zip and you go in and you notice that the file size of this image is only two gigs and not the full size. So that's the problem. And here it is. And we know that we want to get at least 2.5 gigs and that should be the full size. So a couple of things that you need to do right now is when you're downloading a file from a site and you're rejoining it, you want to validate it. You want to make sure the file that you're getting is the correct one. So two things that you, people usually list is the size of the file and they give you a hash number. What we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to find the hash number and validate the file that you downloaded. So I'm going to open up my browser. I'll put this link in the description below so you can easily find it. And what you want to do is take your ISO file and you're going to drag and drop it into here and it's going to start hashing it. And when it's complete, it's going to give you a number, an alphanumeric number. And that is something that you can compare to the website that you downloaded it from to make sure that you're getting the exact copy of the original file. If it's off in any way or the size is different, then you know it's either it's been tampered with or you don't have the complete file. So this is how you can validate it. Okay, so the hashing's complete. You have this long alphanumeric number. This number is usually posted, at least on my website, I usually post this number. So you can make sure that you have the exact copy of the file that has been posted up. And that's one way to do it. And that's probably the best way to make sure that you're getting what you're supposed to. So if you're trying to install an ISO file and it's incomplete or it's crashing, you probably didn't get the whole thing. Uh, so that's how you do it. That's how you install 7-Zip on your computer. That's how you can split up the file into multiple pieces and rejoin them and then validate them. I hope this is useful. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. I try to make it as clear as possible, but if there's anything that you're confused about, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. If you're new to the channel and you like virtual machines, we are doing everything related to virtual machines. So please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.